We could ask our guests to find seats, please. Uh, good morning. Today we're marking up the uh, Chairman's Amendment to H.R. 996, the Highway Re Reauthorization Tax Act of 2005. The bill addresses at least some of the needs to upgrade our nation's highways and infrastructure to improve driver safety, reduce congestion, and frankly, uh, replace infrastructure uh, that is far beyond its estimated year usage. Uh, we all know that the American highway system is a critical component of our economic growth in terms of job creation, more and more uh, the movement of goods uh, within and between major metropolitan areas. Last year, the House and the Senate did not complete negotiations on a six-year reauthorization of the federal highway program. This has left us uh, with no choice but, as we did last year, authorize a short-term extension. Uh, this situation is never ideal, and our goal, obviously, is to now move legislation that will provide the usual multi-year increment, including uh, the short-term extension. The Transportation Infrastructure Committee marked up, um, and Chairman Dong Young uh, has moved uh, through the committee, H.R. 3. Uh, the revenue provisions necessary to fund that particular legislation um, uh, it are before us in this particular uh, act. It extends the expenditure authority of the Highway Trust Fund through fiscal year 2009. It updates the purposes uh, of the Highway Trust Fund monies, and uh, we uh, make sure that the bill moving through the Transportation Committee is funded commensurate with the President's request and the Chair hopes the same will be done in the Senate so we can meet in a relatively short conference uh, and provide American citizens with the kind of uh, extension, maintenance, and support of the nation's highways uh, that they deserve. The Chair recognizes the gentleman from New York for any comment he may wish to make. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for preserving the committee's uh, revenue uh, jurisdiction over this large and complicated transportation bill. Um, we on our side met, and uh, we don't expect there to be any problems at all with this bill, but we would like to take advantage of this opportunity to ask whether you can give us any idea about Social Security and the energy uh, hearings. Uh, we understand you're going to have a Social Security hearing next week, and we understand that uh, we may have an energy bill in early April. Gentleman, you? Yes. Um, Are you back? Thank you. The gentleman's correct. Uh, we're going to begin the process, as uh, I've indicated. The first thing you do is bring in the experts, um, Social Security trustees and others, uh, to begin to outline uh, the condition and or, uh, if you prefer, the problem associated with Social Security. Our job is to examine a number of those solutions. It is wholly within our jurisdiction and it's our responsibility. So when we have the first official hearing, the process will have officially uh, begun. Um, my goal is to continue to carry on uh, communications with members on the committee, uh, members who are not on the committee who have uh, concerns, and certainly uh, with the other how, uh, the Senate. Uh, when we have a specific plan is less clear, uh, although uh, if we are going uh, to move, I think we should try to move in as expeditious a fashion as possible. On the energy bill, uh, leadership has indicated they would like to try to move uh, following the spring break, which is a little bit early this year, um, and the chair requested that, that leadership not move as rapidly as they had initially indicated because we need to re-examine that tax portion of the energy bill with the president's new number, which is um, uh, significantly less than we had been uh, using as a uh, potential target number in the previous Congress, we're going to have to re-examine very carefully. Uh, not just our commitment to the current major uses of fossil fuels, uh, but also those alternate energy sources that we might want to continue to promote 
notwithstanding the fact it will be probably in a smaller overall bill. Uh, the Select Revenue Committee will be holding hearings, and those, um, that schedule will be announced uh, in the near future as we begin that process as well. Mr. Chairman, thank you so much. Would the uh, minority be given an opportunity to participate uh, in the selection of witnesses on the Social Security? Uh, uh, as always, uh, uh, you certainly uh, will be able to do that as we pull the panels together. Uh, the chair will solicit recommendations and they will be made a part uh, of the panel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Uh, chair would now uh, recognize uh, Mr. Yin, uh, who um, is, uh, sits on top of the Joint Tax Committee, oftentimes a friend, um, in terms of analyzing uh, what it is that we need to do and uh, how we're supposed to get there. Uh, there is uh, a chairman's um, amendment uh, to the measure, uh, and uh, the chair would ask unanimous consent that H.R. 996 be considered as read and open to amendment at any point. There being no objection, the chair would offer an amendment in the nature of a substitute and ask unanimous consent that it be considered as read. Uh, hearing no objection, uh, Mr. Yin, would you explain uh, the underlying bill and at the same time as has become our custom uh, the chairman's amendment, which ought not to be too difficult for most members to grasp. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, the chairman's amendment uh, in the nature of a substitute is identical to the original mark, except that it adds the title of the bill, uh, the Highway Reauthorization Tax Act of 2005. Um, the, the bill uh, extends the expenditure authority for the Highway Trust Fund and the Aquatic Resources Trust Fund which are currently due to expire at the end of May 31st of this year through September 30th of 2009 and, as the chairman indicated, updates the permissible purposes for which money can be spent to include the reauthorization bill, uh, H.R. 3, introduced by Mr. Young. Uh, it also extends the motor fuels and other excise taxes financing the trust funds currently due to expire on September 30th of this year uh, it extends those taxes through September 30th, 2011 uh, at their current rates. It does not extend the current law provision, which is due to expire at, uh, on September 30th this year, that permits the general fund to retain 4.8 cents per gallon of certain taxes otherwise dedicated to the Highway Trust Fund and the Aquatic Resources Trust Fund. Thus, after September 30th of this year, the general fund will not retain any of that money. Finally, it includes certain technical corrections to fuels-related provisions that were enacted as part of the Jobs Creation Act of 2004. Uh, that concludes my description. Uh, thank you, Mr. Yen. Any member wish to inquire? Uh, are there any amendments to the amendment in the nature of a substitute? Uh, seeing none, the chair puts the Mr. Chairman? gentleman from Washington. I, I just wanted to ask a question. Mm -hmm. there, there is no way that uh, this, this um, piece of legislation could be uh, in any way considered a tax increase, is there? I mean, that would, would be the opinion of the chair that this was not a tax increase. Well, I would refer to the joint tax, and I believe we do have a spreadsheet that the joint tax uh, has presented to us. And if the gentleman would refer, uh, you should have it in front of you. Uh, it uh, lists all of the items, and under each of them in the period uh, shown, it says no revenue effect, no revenue effect, no revenue effect, no revenue effect, no revenue effect. Net total is no revenue effect. So I don't think it could be interpreted as a tax increase, although there are creative ways in which someone might attempt to describe no revenue effect as a tax increase. The one thing we need to remember is, notwithstanding the fact it says no, no revenue effect, it is a revenue bill. And under the Constitution, the revenue bills must originate in the House, notwithstanding the fact we chose to have no revenue effect in the revenue bill. Um, Mr. Chairman, may I ask Mr. Uh, you, um, what would the what would the gasoline tax be at the end of, of uh, July if this bill was not extended? 
Um, I believe that uh, at the end of September, if this if the taxes were not extended, they'd fall back to 4.3 cents uh, per gallon, which is the permanent rate. And so what we're doing here today is maintaining the present rate of? 18.3. 18.3, that's correct. It's it'll, actually 18.3. It would go from, from 4.3 up to 18.3 at the end, if we pass this bill? Well, it's currently 18.3, so it would simply extend mm -hmm. the 18.3 through 2011. Okay. All right. I just want to clarify, because I know, you know, campaign times, a lot of stuff gets said, and I just wanted to have it on the record where we were on this issue. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank the gentleman for his question. If there are no amendments, the chair puts the question on the amendment in the nature of a substitute. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Being the chair, the ayes have it. The ayes have it. And the amendment in the nature of a substitute is agreed to. The chair recognizes Mr. Shaw for the purpose of offering a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move that H.R. 996 as amended be reported favorably to the House. Uh, the question is on the motion. All those in favor say aye. Those opposed? Being the chair, the ayes have it. The ayes have it. The motion is agreed to. And without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. All members will have the usual two calendar days for the purpose of filing views without objection. The staff has granted the customary technical drafting authority on the bill considered today. Chair thanks the committee, and the committee is adjourned. Jim, actually, I want to thank you for that so that we can, because people start saying,